Hello everyone and welcome to another survival game guide episode in our Medieval Dynasty series. Uh, as you can see, it is a little chilly here in our game. It is the winter season. Um, if you are a beginner or first time you know, playing the, the game, you may have noticed that winter time it's a little bit more difficult to survive. You have that pesky thing called freezing temperatures to deal with. Um, so, uh, to kind of help you get through your first winter in your game, I have a few tips for you on, on how to kind of boost yourself or prepare yourself so that when winter comes, you're not freezing to death and you can go out and do things. Um, so, I have three kind of like major things to kind of like, you know, help you survive the winter, uh, as well as a few bonus tips. Uh, so to start out, perhaps the, the easiest way, uh, to survive in the winter is to make a torch. Um, so to make a torch, let's see here, we'll go to our, our hand crafting menu, um, and here's our torch right here, a very simple torch. There is an improved torch that you can make as well, which does last a little bit longer, uh, but, you know, if you don't have that unlocked yet, your simple torch will do, um, and to make that, you just need one single stick, uh, and ten straw, so we'll just quick craft that and have a torch ready for us. Um, now the great thing about, um, you know, torch is that it is relatively easy to make. Uh, you know, I do have a video on where you can find straw if you're not sure where to get it. Uh, but, you know, one of the best and fa perhaps fastest places to get straw is just to run along uh, this big river here and uh, find some straw. Uh, so now that you have crafted your torch, we can just uh, put it in. I already have it in here, but just put it in your torch slot, which is right here. And to bring it up, you're going to, for the keyboard anyway, hit the, the F key and that'll bring up our torch. Now, uh, you may notice that um, my guy here, he's at uh, eight degrees right now. He's So he's in the green, he's not losing health. Uh, if I were to, that's mostly because I currently have him uh, wearing some shoes here. But um, if I were to remove those shoes, remove the, the, the torch here, uh, you will notice that uh, our temperature is uh, going down and I'll just kind of move out here into the wilderness for that to go down a little bit further. Um, but yeah, if you're just, uh, if you don't have anything protective, like protective, protective clothing or anything, you are going to start freezing like my character is right now. And that means you are losing health. You're, yeah, you can kind of see right now my, my health is uh, slowly draining. So if we bring out our little torch here, little arrow's going up. We're warming up at the very least. Our health isn't going down. Uh, and in theory, it should bring us back up to a little bit more comfortable temperature, a survivable temperature at least. Uh, and here we are right at five degrees here, which is um, really cold still, but hey, it's survival, right? So, you know, at the very least, you can get by with uh, a single torch. Um, now, I will mention that my character is a little bit boosted, and I'll get to that. That's our third method, our third tip. Uh, but just so you know, uh, just, a just to, for, you know, bare bones survival, a torch can get you through. Huzzah that. Now, our, our second option is to do a little bit of shopping or to do a little bit of crafting. Um, I currently don't have a sewing, uh, hut up yet, so I ran over to Baranica. That's right, that's the one. Uh, where there is a, a sewing, uh, seamstress, uh, and if you're not sure where that is, that's right here on the map. Here's Veronica. Not Veronica, but Bronica. Okay, all right, they're very different. Uh, and there it is in relation to Gustovia, if that, that helps you as well. Uh, so you can talk to her, and she has, uh, a number hey, of, friend. of different Best things in the uh, that she has. Um... Now, I bought the fur uh, boots from her, and I'll just quick click that. Uh, and as you can see here, that gives a really good cold protection, plus 35, uh, which is fantastic. That'll boost you up a good amount. And I have noticed that with the current build on my character, all I need is fur boots, and I am fine. I need nothing else. I don't need a torch. I don't need a hat. I don't need gloves. I put these on, and I am good to be out in the wilderness. Um... They are a little bit, you know, uh, expensive. I don't know if she has. There we go. Uh, yeah, so this is about her price here for fur boots. So, you know, you might need to save up a little bit for it, but it is, in my opinion, a worthy investment if you want to, you know, walk around and do stuff during winter and not be confined to your, your house waiting it out. Uh, now, that said, there are, you know, a few other things like, you know, just regular boots here. That gives a pretty good uh, cold protection as well. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive than my fur boots, but... Um, 
you know, there's like, there's options for you. Now you, because for example, this one here, it's only plus 10 for cold. Um, you know, you're going to have to potentially stack a few things as well. You might need a cap and some boots or uh, gloves or something to, to bring your tolerance up enough to make yourself comfortable in the winter. So, you know, in my, in my opinion, <laughs> this is good, my opinion, um, if you want to make you the value of your money go as far as it can, uh, just buy the fur boots here and you should be fine. Um, but like I said, just, a, there's a few things, you know, do a little bit, of, a little bit of sniffing around a little, uh, uh, window quote unquote, uh, shopping and see if there's something that looks a little bit interesting to you. Wowza. That isn't quite as expensive as that. Um, but keep in mind, uh, you know, fur tends to be the more cold temperature related clothing. Um, but not always. For example, there is fur shoes here. You would think that, oh, hey, that's that's going to keep me warm too. And it's, you know, it's cheaper than the fur boots. But if you click on it, you notice that like, yes, it does, but, um, you know, not as much as, as that. So, you know, just kind of keep an eye out on certain things when you're doing your shopping and just keep the, the percentage in, in mind as well. Um, but that is my, See you soon. thank you. Uh, that's my opinion is just to get, you know, at the very least for boots, um, you might find that, you know, perhaps something else uh, just buying that will will get you through. But for me, the fur boots, I'm happy with it. Looks looks great on my character. I'm sure if I can just I can. There we go. See, it looks it looks totally fine. It's fashionable. Okay. Um. So yeah. So fur boots. That's my second tip. If you can, uh, purchase them. Uh, you can also, you know, if you have your sewing kit, uh, so if your sewing kit, your sewing house available and and ready, and you have a seamstress working, or a seamster. Um, you can make it potentially if you have, you know, the, the technology, uh, unlocked, uh, f for the fur boots specifically, or, you know, whatever it is that you want to make, uh, which can, you know, that'll save you money. All you need is some fur, which you can easily get from your hunters and, and whatnot. So that's a, a little bit more uh, affordable option if you happen to have the hut available, uh, already. So that's our second tip. Our third tip, uh, is to unlock certain skills. So we'll just quick pull up our skills here. Uh, this is what uh, I do really, like as soon as you uh, get some skill points available in your survival tree, this is honestly like one of the first things that I, you know, pump my, my points in. Uh, and that is the insensitive skill. Um, when you have your, your uh, just your tier one, you'll see that it's like two degrees more temperature and then four, and then this final one is six, to, uh, six degrees. Uh, more temperature tolerance and in my opinion it's worth it you know you just it's just because you don't have to wear a bunch of different clothing or anything like that you can just buy one like i said just buy the fur boots and with with your three out of three here on insensitive uh you're good to go you're fine you're fine in the winter don't gotta worry about it you can just be naked with everything else that we don't yeah that probably doesn't help but <laughs> um uh, but if you just can, you know, pump some points into this, uh, that will increase this little green bar here. And it'll make you uh, able to, you know, tolerate colder temperatures just a lot easier. Uh, you know, you're, you're not going to be like cozy, but you're going to be able to survive without worrying about your, your health draining, which is fantastic. So, you know, if you have survival skill points available, put them in there. Um, and how do you get these? Uh, there's a, a number of things. It's, it usually kind of involves... Uh, when you're out there like picking up stones and sticks and and whatnot that tends to be more of like survival like herb collection and all that 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 gets you some survival points so if you if you're in need of points head out there start picking up sticks and stones and eventually you'll get enough to to um you know give you some uh, uh some of this insensitive happiness here um so that is uh the three tips primarily uh on how to survive your first winter make torches if you got nothing else if you've got uh, some coin in your pocket go buy some fur boots or you know some other kind of fur cold weather related outfit um or make some if you can uh and you know just pump a few points into the insensitive skill uh, and that'll really just make it so you can walk out here in the winter without any problems whatsoever now, there are a few other additional uh, tips just to keep in mind when you're playing the game, uh, and that is uh, well, um, to stay out of water, for one. If you're walking around in the water to, you know, bathe or whatnot, uh, the temperature does decrease. Even if you have, you know, good uh, cold weather tolerance or fur boots on or whatever, 
your temperature will drop and you could potentially freeze if you keep, you know, hanging out in the water. Makes sense, right? If it's cold, don't go in the water. Uh, as much as you can, anyway. Uh, another uh, tip is that if you only have a torch available, you might want to uh, run building to building because uh, there's a little bit more uh, insulation inside the buildings than just, you know, being out here, out in the open. Um, and in most cases, you're temperature shouldn't go down so much that, you know, you're, you're freezing to death while you're inside of a building. Um, that might change if it's like nighttime or something, uh, and, you know, as well as a few other factors. But by and large, if all you have is a torch, just try and go from building to building to keep yourself warm, or you know, I should say really if you don't have a torch, just go building to building and warm yourself up while you're, you know, running out and running back in and stuff like that. It's going to take a long time to get stuff done, but you're also not going to be freezing to death. So, you know, there's an option there. Uh, and finally, um, a great way to make sure that those, those homes are warm and they're like, you know, beacons of warmth for you is to insulate them. And, um, depending on, you know, your current level in, in your building and you know, what houses you have built and unlocked, you'll have different uh, insulation uh, materials. The very first one is uh, daub, uh, which is like a, a clay and I think straw uh, insulator that you just smear on these buildings. You take your little your little hammer out and you, yeah, you, can, you can be like, yeah, add that insulation. Now these aren't my buildings, so I can't. But you would just take the, the daub that you create and just, you know, you hammer it in and it's happy and, and it's lovely. Uh, the, the higher tier is limestone. Uh, you, and same thing, you just get the limestone, you can mine it uh, yourself uh, by hitting some uh, rocks, or you can have your people in the mine extract it, I think. I want to say that, that might, be, sorry, might be the people in your extraction shed, actually, where uh, they can harvest it for you, which is you know pretty nice, too. And then the same thing, you just hammer it into the building, and that will insulate them and... Make them warmer, which makes your villagers happier, for one. But it also means that, you know, if you need to run in there and warm up, it's going to be faster. Uh, so those are just all kind of, like, little tips to, to help you get through the winter and uh, hopefully keep your, your health from declining and from freezing and whatnot. Uh, but, um, you know, if you guys have any other tips, be sure to, to share them in the comments. Um, you know, maybe, maybe you found something that uh, helps as well, whether maybe it's some potion or something you know whatever just let us know in the comments uh but otherwise thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next one until then keep surviving keep thriving